this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. I know it's been a while since I've posted. Life has been just a little crazy for me lately and I haven't been reading much so I just haven't really felt like I had a lot to say. But I'm trying to get back in the game and so I decided to do something really easy. I'm gonna do the booktube about me tag. Um, I probably should have done this when I first started my channel to give you guys idea of just a bit more information about who I am. But I'm doing it now. What do you study slash what is your job? So I did study English in college because I had the grand idea to become a editor at a publishing house, then decided I didn't want to move to New York. And <laughs> that makes your chances of becoming an editor very slim. Not to say it can't happen, but I live in Michigan and we have like one, so. Right now I work two jobs. I work as a support staff at a mental health service place. Um, and then I am also the office assistant at a senior living center. And I like both my jobs so far. It's just kind of rough having to juggle both of them, but you make do. Question two, what is your favorite social media channel? Does Pinterest count? I feel like it doesn't. Um, I'm, YouTube, I don't, I'm not on social media like ever. I just have never seen the draw. Like, I mean, I do like it because um, I do, I'm on Twitter um, and I do follow a lot of booktubers on there. I just, I always seem to miss the big conversations and stuff like that. And then I'm playing catch up and I just forget to go on it a lot. So I don't really use it, but I guess Pinterest, I just like pinning food. Question three, if you had another channel, what would it be about? Food. <laughs> I love trying new foods, cooking, trying new recipes, going out to eat and trying new local restaurants. So I feel like if I had another channel and maybe I'll incorporate into this channel, I just don't have a great setup for shooting food videos. Um, I'd make it about food. Question number four, do you play any interest? Do you play any instruments? I can. I used to play the clarinet in high school and the bass clarinet. They are not that different and they're literally the same thing. One is just significantly taller. I will kind of see if I can find pictures and put them up. Um, I did learn how to play uh, the flute, but I didn't stick with that one just because it is... I was learning how to play the clarinet and the flute kind of at the same time because I was going to be really ridiculous and learn the clarinet, the flute, and the saxophone, and <laughs> that didn't happen. Question number five, what other hobbies do you have besides reading? I really like photography. I haven't done it in a while, but I really enjoy doing it. And so, as I stated earlier, I love cooking. Um, I am a big, big, big bullet journaler. Um, I keep meaning to kind of post about kind of what I do in my bullet journal and maybe I'll make a video about that sometime but I I'm pretty big into that I have I spend way too much money on it and have a lot of fun doing it question number six is favorite tv shows um Rizzoli and Isles is definitely one of my top okay it's probably the my most favorite one um it was really sad when they ended I really like Shadowhunters um I know at least I've heard don't really like it who really like the books. I have not read the Immortal Instruments book, so I don't have anything to compare them to. And for what it is, I do enjoy it. I really like Criminal Minds, even though it makes me a paranoid wreck. I really shouldn't watch that by myself late at night. Um, anything that will terrify me. Besides, I don't know, I, it's like a fine line. I like kind of like psychological mystery thrillers, but not like horror show so I do have a bit of an issue like hard time watching Walking Dead and stuff like that um I do and I did enjoy it but I just it's not something I'm drawn to and I like a lot of competition shows so like love great what is it the great British baking show I think it's what it's called um absolutely love that show I love Chopped Project Runway anything where they have to create something I'm usually really into Question number seven, what got you into reading? I talked about this in, I think my five books to get to me, but um, 
video, but I wasn't really a big reader. And then I stumbled upon Tamora Pierce and she opened up the whole world of fantasy for me and that kind of really kickstarted it. My parents, my dad was also reading me um, Harry Potter at night and I really enjoyed that. It just was kind of like all this fantasy stuff coming together and making me realize that there was more to reading than just what I was currently reading. Question number eight, what are your favorite and least favorite genres? Well, unsurprisingly, my favorite genre is probably fantasy, especially if it has an LGBTQIA character or main character, side character, theme, you name it. I also really like mysteries, although once again, I have to be careful with those because if I read it, it's if it's very thrilling or suspenseful and I read it late at night, I can make it so I don't go to bed and that will screw up my whole. Um, my least favorite is probably classics. I see why some I do. I just have such a hard time getting into them and I have a really hard time with nonfiction. I have read some nonfiction books that I've absolutely loved, but it's just they're few and far between and classics. I just it doesn't do it for me. Question number nine is what books define your childhood? So unsurprisingly, Harry Potter, the series, or at least the first couple. Um, Dr. Seuss was a big one for me. Um, it's actually pretty huge. Um, Tamara Pierce was a big one for me. Oh, and Madeline Lee Engle. I read a lot of her books out of order. I watched, there was a Disney Channel original movie called A Ring of Endless Light, and I found out it was based on one of the Madeline Lee Engle books called The Ring of Endless Light, and I read that one, and then I read the next one, and found out that they were the, four, the fifth and the sixth in the series, and went back and read the other stuff, so. And number 10, tell us an interesting fact about you. I'm really into tattoos. <laughs> I have two. I, I want to get another one. Actually, I have, I have a few planned. I have like three planned. I have the Dr. Seuss one. I have a book-related one for my upper arm, and I have one that I'm going to do for my cat that passed away last September. Yeah. Well, here's that's a little bit about me. Um, if you guys have any common interests or just want to say hi, please stop in and say so. And I guess until the next video, ta-ta for now!